Welcome back, Zerka fans. I'm Marion, your host, Chad Fury or Dominic, whichever you prefer. Whichever I want to put in first, apparently, because I keep switching that around. And also, before we start, thanks for, thanks to what airplane power for throwing money in my face. That is, subscribing. They know where their towel is. I mean, literally, that's like the only benefit you get from subscribing on Twitch is that you get a towel emote that you get to throw. So, you become a hoopy fruit who knows where their, you become a hoopy fruit who knows where their towel is. I admire that. Anyway, let's get to the match proper. Gorda going for the Clunkybot factory, while Rar, on the other hand, going for the commander. And the gunship plant. Actually, more so the gunship plant. To be fair, Rar has not really been using commander builds as much. Not that they haven't been using them, it's just that Rar, as much as being the commander player, has not been doing commander cheese every single game. They've been doing it, just not every single game. And for those wondering which name I prefer, I... I don't know. I mean, Dominic, really, or Dom. I mean, that's what I... That's what I'm called in real life, and... Honestly, Shadow Fury has always made me feel awkward. When I went to tournaments, and people would call me Shadow Fury, it always took me a second to catch on. I was like, oh yeah, you're talking to me. Right. Fair enough. It just always felt a little bit weird. So no, I, I'd prefer Dom. So, with that... We have Rar going for mostly expansions. Gold, on the other hand, going for the reclaim game because this is Gecko Isle, and Gecko Isle gives you, like, 2,000 metal reclaim right off the bat near your base. Actually, that's a bit exaggerated. No, it's not exaggerated. 2,000 metal off the bat near your base. The area you have control over right at the start of the game is chock full of rocks. And we are not seeing Rar go for that. Gorda, however, is just eating those up with a couple conjurers. So, Gorda, I think, is the right idea in this case. However, Rar is going for the Static Economy first, which is a little bit risky. I like that this Lotus is here. That's going to stop the Glaive from getting in and dealing any major damage. But at the same time, Rar focusing exclusively on their economy. Which I find a little odd, considering, again, that Golda's getting loads of mileage off the Reclaim. If we look at the total metal thus far, Golda is ahead by about 400. They haven't used much of it yet, but still, they're ahead by about 400. And that's likely to continue for the time being. Now, Rar does have that stack economy. They are getting the advantage as a result of that, so things are catching up. But, yeah, that's still a bit tricky. Actually, things are catching up. I'm kind of thinking of it. It's only 200 difference now. And Rar has not yet gone for the, the reclaim either, so they could easily go for that and could get that on top of what they currently have. With a couple of wasps going around the map, that's quite profitable. That being said, though... Gorda is able to convert all that reclaim stuff into more units on top of more economy. So, really, Gorda has a slight army advantage, has the gremlins to stop the wasps from doing much, and has the reclaim and all the value that entails. So, I don't see any good reason not to get the reclaim early on. Rar might have one, but I'm not catching what it is. At this point, though, Rar and Gorda are fairly even. And again, Gota has invested a lot of money into their army. The main problem here is that this wasp is going to die, and the gremlins are not going to be stopped from doing that. So, that is a huge blow. The wasp is going over to reclaim as well, but no, that's done. That can't happen. And this is the thing I always talk about. If you can kill a worker, do so. It is super valuable. Like, now it's going to take a minute and a half for this entire area to be expanded to. It's going to take even longer for all the reclaim to be taken. And that's just huge. Like, there's all this reclaim available just next to their bases, 1,500 metal reclaim, and Rar has not taken any of it, while Gorda is leveraging all of what they've taken in order to get the military, in order to get the strong expansion, in order to be able to get a very strong economic lead. Yeah, there was a brief period where they didn't have that lead, now they do again. 300 metal produced in total ahead. They have never been behind in metal produced. Again, Rar theoretically could get in there and theoretically could expand, or rather, reclaim, and get all this stuff. The hard part, however, is going to be getting past the gremlins. The Banshee's doing a fine job of this, or sorry, Locust, rather, doing a fine job of this, but that's still only so much. I mean, Locusts, they're good. They can get rid of the gremlins reasonably well, but they're going to have to start protecting every single one of these wasps, not to mention the fact that the glazers are over here patrolling. If Gorda does not pay attention to this glaive, though, this wasp is going to be able to build the lotus in time. That is going to work. I th Ooh, actually, good question. Is that going to work 10 seconds? Yeesh, that is close. It should work fine, but that is still a close call. Rar should be able to get the northeast, however, and with that, should at least be able to stabilize some of their back line. So, that's good. That gives them something to work with. 
But at the same time, Golda, they have about twice the metal income. They have a massive solid economy going around back. They have a fair amount of defenses as well. There's a fair amount of units hanging around to help defend when needed. Actually, no, they don't have a fair amount of defenses. In fact, that's a bit of a weakness. They could be taken down by that RAR going around the back. The gremlins are going to be a problem, but if they manage to evade the gremlins and get around back, they could tear apart all these backline expansions. I'm not sure, though, that RAR is even aware that's a thing, but they are getting a lot of value regardless. And getting rid of the gremlins. The focus on the gremlins is working out beautifully. A few locusts here and there are going down, but the sheer numbers are making it very difficult for the gremlins to get any real value. Forcing them back and Gorda losing quite a bit of the economic lead that they had. At least quite a bit of the metal lead. However, with this switch over to Mass Glaives, I would like to see some Harpies coming out from RAR. Or I'd like to see them go around the back with the bandits and just kill what that whatever they can, because Gorda has not defended anything in the back lines. This is naked as a jaybird, the expansion in the back there. Actually, that's a very terrible analogy. Jaybirds have plenty of feathers. They're not very naked. I seem to just have Simpsons references on my mind. But regardless, the the Locusts are going to be able to deal some damage. However, they are going for the most protected, in fact, the only protected expansion that Golda has in the front line here. I, I get why Rar is going for the front expansions. They don't know the back exists. They, they assume the back's probably reasonably well defended. But, man, the amount of value they'd get from going around the back, that's going to be... Uh, they're going to be so amazed when they get around the back, if they do go around the back, and find just how much... Golda has not defended things up. So, with that, Golda is going to be in a bit of a tight spot now that they are managing to get that back line. That back line is going to be falling, but they are at the same time pushing the back line of the front as well, or their own front, into Rar's back line. And Rar's back line is not that strong. Rar really needs this expansion destruction here in order to be able to get even. And even then, if we look at the income, there's almost a 2,000 metal income difference. The only thing, though, is that a lot of it has been army value that has been lost by Golda. And now that these Locusts are getting boatloads of value on this backline expansion, I mean, they're fine. They get out of here, they avoid the Gremlins, just go ham. They can do whatever they want. This is giving a fairly large opening for Rar. Now, Golda will be able to get rid of this Locust, sorry, Lotus, and get rid of the back line. Oh, very close. Get rid of the Lotus, but at cost of all Glaives. So, there you go. All the Glaives are down, and that's still a reasonably strong position for RAR. However, they are continuing along with the gunships, and Golda is continuing to build more anti-air defenses. Realizing, of course, that there will be locust attacks in the back line, it's a good idea to defend against those. But again, RAR... Actually, RAR ahead in economy. This metal use is a bit useless now, considering that the sheer amount of damage that RAR has dealt has made up for that metal income difference. Like, 1,500 extra attrition, and this is going to be even worse. Another 300, actually, another 600 attrition being added to that number from this one assault at no cost. This is huge. And not only that, there's also going to be a very large shift over from Gremlins to, well, to Glaives from RAR. And that's going to completely destroy the Gremlins. Like, RAR, I think, is picking a really good time to go for the ground switch. Because with all the Gremlins up, that's, what, 2,100 metal worth of Gremlins... On top of... Okay, 900-ish metal worth of razors. Not bad. But that combination means that this set of locusts, they're still on the map. There's still 16 locusts just floating around here, getting rid of any glaives that are getting away from gremlins. And on top of that, there's also all these glaives being built up. So RAR is in a really strong position right now. All they need to do is make sure the back line is defended, and they have plenty of tools with which to do that. What I would like to see, however, from RAR is get another wasp or two, or actually get some Conjurers, not even Wasps, just get Conjurers, go around the map and start reclaiming. They do have some Caretakers to do that, which I like, but if they get some Conjurers built up, they could get everything in the back and not worry about the Gremlins stopping them. Of course, now that the Glaives are being revealed, it could be a little bit harder to do that, but still. The sheer number of Glaives being built up, look at the army value difference, 3,000 metal worth of army, I mean, a lot of there's the Banshees, sorry, the Locusts, but just in terms of Glaives, no, not even, it's mostly the Locusts. So the Glaives are just a nice bonus on top of that. And the Stardust being built up here is going to be of some use against the Locusts if it gets built up in time, but of course it won't because the sheer number of Locusts means that is not going to happen. And with that, I don't think Golda has any real way to defend. All the Glaives are going to tear apart the Gremlins or force them back, allowing the Locusts to get in and deal all the damage they want to deal. That means the main base is highly vulnerable. While I do like the use of the Reavers, that will counter both of these. It still might not be enough in terms of cost. However, 
We're seeing right now, we are getting a bit of damage here. A few of the Locusts are going down. Between the Gremlins and the Reavers, it's difficult to get in, and the Reavers are stopping the Glaives from coming in and dealing much damage. So this could actually be a major blow for Rar, losing a ton of their army. Losing their entire army, actually. The only upside, though, is they are managing to get into the back lines and deal some extra economic damage. So it's a bit harder for Golda to rebuild, but Rar is still behind economically. The one thing they have that Golda kind of has, because of the sheer amount of reclaim that was just dumped on their front door, is the reclaim in the back line. Rar still has this. They haven't spent any of it yet, but they're also not going for it. They have a few wasps here and there. The wasps are mainly being used for helping instruction, I think. No. They're just there for show. Bit of a shame, that. So that assault there, it had a really good shot at actually dealing some meaningful damage, but unfortunately for Rar, it didn't manage to. Might be able to get rid of Goda's Commander, though. That would still be a huge blow, and Goda's Commander does go down! Getting rid of a Caretaker in the process even bigger, though. That lack of Caretaker means that's Goda possibly accessing pretty soon, or at very least only having 30 build power. A massive blow was just struck there, at least evening things out for Rar, but again, army value-wise, Rar still lashes out the head of Goda. Despite all of what's happening, Rar is still slightly ahead, but only slightly, and it's not lasting. I like the switch to Ronan, I like the I like the addition of Reavers. I don't like the fact that all of the Locusts died. Like, that's actually really big, because I don't expect the Locusts to be rebuilt. Not much, anyway, we're seeing a few of them here and there, but that's likely not to be a priority. I just don't get why Rar is not reclaiming, though. Like, there's so much reclaim here. I get that there might be scared of gremlins, but there's so much reclaim on the map. This map is full of reclaim. That's the big thing they gave Gold to the advantage early on, which, admittedly, Rar has done a great job of countering. Like, despite the early economy in favor of Gold, it's still been huge, but it's... It's not been as big because Rar has been effective at using unit counters and deception. A really strong set of plays there. It's just entirely down to the plays. It's not down to the economy, as Golda's economy is still stronger thanks to all the reclaim. I just... I really would like to see Rar reclaim as much as they can. Not to mention the Scythe in the back line also destroying much of their economy. So overall, Rar, they're playing very well tactically. They're playing extremely well strategically, except for the economy. Their, their economy is having a bit of a tough time. And now, now Golda has air. And Golda has the money to really make air work. And this is where things are going to fall apart. Rar just doesn't have anything to keep going. Like, send one of these wasps over here and reclaim, please. It's just so painful. It's This is absolutely winnable by Rar. They nearly have this, too. They have gold in the backline position. It's just that it's not there. So, I don't see it. I just, like, unless Rar actually builds up their economy, Gota has this game. Like, Gota has all the reclaim that was dropped there. They have all the reclaim they took earlier that contributed. Although, admittedly, the contribution of that is kind of irrelevant. But they are taking more of it. That, they weren't done. They still have quite a bit left. The only thing they don't really have is a bunch of build power into their factory, so they are going to be accessing a bunch of this. But they're being smart about that, too. I don't think I'm kind of surprised they aren't using these conjures here to actually build up or help build the factory. But... Overall, I'm, like I said, more surprised at the lack of reclaim. At the very least, though, RAR is rebuilding the backline expansion, so they are managing to get some money, just not quick money. Slow money, long-term money. Not sure if they have the time for long-term money. They have some time, though. They bought a lot of it early on, and they are spending it on that backline. It's just whether or not they're able to make that work, especially with the attack coming in here, possibly destroying more of their army. Though I do like the fact that they're managing to get in and managing to deal some damage. The Locusts especially managing to make sure these glaives have a much harder time than they would otherwise against a pure glaive army. And get rid of the Conjurer. That's what they really need to do. So with that, Rar does again have a bit of an opening to work with. I think they are building their back line. They have their armies up front. They're dealing a lot of damage. And Gota hasn't really re-expanded over to the southwest at all. The pressure has been strong. But again, how strong has it really been? How much is that actually going to matter? Why are these locusts moving into their deaths? I don't know. I don't think they were controlled directly. That might have just been an AI mistake. Regardless, RAR is still behind economically. A lot of that, almost all, all of that is reclaim, actually. If you look at the numbers here, Gota only has 30 metal re with, without reclaim. RAR is ahead in static economy. RAR is much better map control. RAR just doesn't have money, because again, Gota is able to afford this. And Gota actually has a 2,400 metal lead 
a thousand of it from attrition, but another thousand of it just from the fact that they've been getting more money. Like, simple as that. They're richer. Or at least they have reclaim, and they're using the reclaim. I just, I don't know. I'd like to know what Rar was thinking, why they didn't get that. So I'm not really sure what RAR has up their sleeve anymore. They've done the ground switch. They've done the big push that lost a bunch of their army and gave Golda a bunch of reclaim to work with. They have a bunch of reclaim with which to they can mess around with things. But again, I don't see much value being taken out of that. Like, Golda is slowly but surely just coming in here and destroying things because they have the larger army. They're able to make that work well. They they have the counters with the locusts. There aren't enough locusts to overwhelm anything. Not to mention, as I mentioned before, Reavers counter locusts. Possibly better than gremlins. Especially for cost. Like It's just no contest. So honestly, I just don't see this working for Rar. And they had this match. They really had this match. So I don't see how this is going to work in any meaningful way that actually gives any momentum back to RAR without using Reclaim, and they're not doing that. Like, I really wish they used the Reclaim. That would have been... That would have been their match. They would have had the money, they would have had the units, they would have had enough value to work with, and the, of course the units mean more value because the armies are able to come together, and it's more efficient that way, but... Nope. Not happening. So Gorda should be able to take out that gunship plant. Goldy Factory is a little bit better defended, but even then... Golda has just a runaway army value advantage. Like, it's becoming an advantage in attrition, and that's just turning into the game win. I mean, Rar looks like they're going for a bit of a harassment over the back line. But, Golda has all these forces in back. Rar has nothing to defend against that. They're losing a bunch of their economy in the process. And again, they were all static economy. So they didn't have much to work with. Like I said, I just don't understand the logic. And it's like, I'm not sure what they're thinking in terms of leaving units on attack move. Like, that didn't blow it. They dealt a lot of damage, but there just wasn't enough money behind it. That's all it came down to. I mean, yeah, ultimately, yes, the game was lost by a push that didn't go well, and then trying to rebuild from there, but ultimately, it was Golda had more money the entire time. Like, RAR did a really good job using what money they had, and the fact that they had an army disadvantage, or sorry, a military advantage with an economic disadvantage is really impressive. But, that reclaim. That reclaim is the entire advantage economically between RAR and Gorda. Like, th look at this. 34.5, 29.2. So it's a 5.3 metal, or 5.3 thousand metal, 5,300 metal advantage for Gorda. Metal reclaim, 5,100. So Gota only got 200 more metal from income. That's basically... Like, they were ahead by 5 metal per second for most of the game on average. Actually, not even that. That's only going to be... That's going to be 40 seconds if that happens. So they were ahead by maybe, like, 1 or 2 metal per second the entire game on average. But the reclaim was the big difference maker. Actually, no, more than that, because it's 600. So yeah, 600 metal difference from static economy everything else from Reclaim. This is a Reclaim map. This is like Altair Crossing, but built for actually meaningfully long games. So, that's the thing going forward. Just, if you're on this map, eat the rocks! They're tasty and nutritious and make you win games. But that is going to be it for me tonight. So, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. But I'm going to be going off and doing other stuff. So thanks for watching. Have a good night. And see you next time or tomorrow if you like Battle Right. Because I'll be doing stuff with Rival as I usually do. Anyway, till then. See ya.